Good evening, I'm Dana Tyler. And I'm Dick Brennan. Intense emotional testimony in the Jam Esther J murder trial. The other victim shot that night took the stand in federal court. CBS 2's Jessica Moore was in the courtroom and tells us tonight why it took decades for the truth to come out. Tony Rincon visibly cried as he described the moment he watched his mentor and friend Jason Mizell, aka Jam Master J, being murdered right in front of him, realizing that he had been shot himself and why it took him so many years to tell police he knew who the gunman was. Ronald Washington and Carl Jordan Jr. are charged with murdering Jason Mizell and shooting Tony Rincon in the leg in a case that rocked the world of hip hop and remained a mystery for more than 20 years. Today in federal court, Rincon described the night of October 30th, 2002, inside Mizell's studio in Hollis, Queens. Quote, while we were just talking, the front door of the studio comes open. I see Mr. Jordan come toward Jay. He gave half a handshake and I heard gunshots. I saw Jay just just fall. Then I felt pain in my left knee and realized I'd been shot. Rincon testified that Ronald Washington was standing near the door of the studio as Jordan shot them. Then he said both men ran out toward the building's fire escape. Quote, I kept shaking Jay, asking if he was okay, but he was dead. He sounded very honest to me for what he's seen and what, he, and what he's saying. Rincon says he lied to police multiple times, saying he didn't know who shot him and the run DMC DJ because he was scared. Quote, I was confused, I was scared, and not trusting a lot of things at the same time. Prosecutors say in 2017, Rincon finally told police the truth about Jordan and Washington. When asked why, he testified, quote, I felt his wife and children needed closure. Grilled under cross-examination about why he lied to police for so many years, Rincon said he was scared, saying, quote, I'm still scared today. Testimony in the case continues tomorrow. Outside Brooklyn Federal Court, Jessica Moore, CBS 2 News. And stay with CBS 2 for continuing coverage of the court case from the testimony all the way to the verdict. We'll bring you updates here and on the air streaming on CBS News New York.